Hello there, it's Rats Magua here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for you guys today. And today we are going full circle, man, because today we're playing Azir Irelia. It's happening. I, I knew someday this, I, honestly, I didn't expect this to ever happen, really, but it is actually happening. I am embracing hypocrisy, and we are going to be playing the archetype that I have despised the most in the history of this game. Now, I've been doing a lot of thinking, and, uh, you know, about my hatred <laughs> towards, towards this uh, deck in the past. And ultimately, it just comes down to the fact that this archetype was unbelievably pushed by the developers back in the Shurima expansion, right? It was just far too strong for its own good, and it just overtook the meta. This deck has, this archetype was so unbalanced that it's had a quite a an impact that's, you know, we still see remnants of it to this day. Like, for example, Azir had to be partially redesigned because after the nerf to Azir, he was just completely useless. Because Azir was actually a balanced champion until the Blade Dance mechanic came onto the game afterwards because the expansion was split uh, in three different uh, mini expansions, right? So at first, Azir was completely fine. Azir and Lucian was like, wow, this is a cool combo deck. And then this deck came out and just blew it out of the water, right? So Azir got the ability to level up with landmarks as well. Which then led to, you know, the dark days of the Mata Shurima meta, which I, I still cannot believe that I'm saying that. <laughs> like, as somebody who's been playing this game since beta, and I, I remember the very initial release of the Shurima expansion and just how much of a joke Mata Shurima has always been. The fact that it actually became meta <laughs> is just, it's kind of mind blowing. You know, it just goes to show that this deck, you know, cards are like very, very close to being busted potentially. Uh, more so than, than it would seem. So, yeah, going on a bit of a tangent here, but yeah, this, this deck gets me all, you know, what's the word? Nostalgic, right? I just, I just really remember those glorious days in which I just absolutely hated and cried about this deck every day on Twitter. So now here we are playing it because now the deck has been nerfed to oblivion and because it's not super pushed, because it's much more synergy reliant than before, and therefore as a combo deck, it is not super oppressive. It's actually really, really rewarding as an archetype. It has, it's, I never denied that Azir really was fun, right? It's fun to play. The problem is because it was so strong, it didn't really require much nuance deck building wise. And it was just smashing anything regardless that that wasn't full on aggro, right? But now because of more than anything, the nerf to flawless duet, we are forced to run a card that actually did not see play in the original Azir Aurelia. And that is Field Musicians. But before anything, why are we playing this archetype now? Like, why now? Well, we got a new card. I wasn't really particularly excited about this card at the beginning, but now I am. Storm of Blades, five mana slow speed spell that says for the rest of the game, when you blade dance, summon another attacking blade, and then you blade dance one. This is an investment for the combo. I love cards like this. They, it, it's a heavy price to pay at first, tempo-wise, right? Like you're spending five mana to play this, which is a big price to pay, but, from that point onwards, every time you blade dance, you get that extra uh, blade. And when you play this back to back, which you know Field Musicians enables you to do, you are able to uh, just have these insane boards. With the leveled up Azir or with the one off of Inspiring Marshall that we have right here, we can just completely outpace anything the opponent is doing and just be relentless at them, throwing them attack after attack after attack. Their turn, <laughs> our turn. We attack them again and again and we just blow them out, right? With the Irelia level up and the Blade Surge, I mean, I don't even know why I'm explaining this. A lot of you know how this deck played out, but the payoff is really neat and now you gotta work for it. You gotta really work for it. You gotta be very careful with your sequencing. You gotta give up some momentum, some turns in order to gain it in others. And I love decks that play out like that. There's a lot of forward thinking to be made with this deck. And it is by no means easy to pilot because it's really rough with the Flawless Duet, man. The Flawless Duet being two mana is just insane. Like it slowed this deck down like crazy. So now you can't just start spamming this. You know, uh, even in later turns when you have like a lot of mana, it's still a lot to pay for, right? So you gotta keep that in mind. My version of Azir really here is actually quite different from the original. Uh, that was, you know, a thing back in the day because we are actually running uh, different distributions. We don't have Shapestone. We have, um, we have the entire Blade Dance package except for, you know, cards like, um, you know, Vanguard's Edge and uh, Zinnia. We're just like way, like this is just 
too way too expensive and uh, this is not terrible i guess but it is uh i really see just spell and we don't want to be drawing multiple copies of this by any means right uh the rest we are packing it in lead and follow is definitely significantly weaker than it was before like it being four mana in total for doing what you want to do with this is a big blow but we still have it even though it's not actually a card that we tend to keep in the early game believe it or not even though it is technically a card that's meant to bypass removal i mean it depends on what we're facing right but ideally wanna we want to lead off with a storm of blades early and we want to enable that with the field musicians field musicians will allow us to attune and once we play storm of blades if we have a zir or an emperor's days on the board or if we've summoned something prior we are able to refill our spell mana and effectively play storm blades for two mana while drawing a card and then a uh, few positions allow us to not run out of steam and allow us to play above tempo with our storm blades plays and once he's on the board then lead and follow is more you know playable <laughs> basically that's that's the gist of it like it's actually not terrible and that's what we're going with we obviously have a full set of defined dance and then i'm running a full set of will of ionia i'm not playing homecoming because there's a lot of pings running around this meta and we're not playing the dancing droplet so a lot of times even though we would like to buy us bangs bounce one of our uh blade dancers we don't want to be disrupted by a, a removal. So Will of Ionia is just more reliable and allow us to just effectively stall. The combination of Defiant Dance and Will of Ionia are there to stall out. Gives us a great matchup. By running a full set of each, we have a great matchup with the decks like Pantheon and uh, any deck that goes like really big on units. We can buy uh, a turn against Thralls, for example, by recalling one of the 8-8s coming at us, uh, amongst other things. Even though Home Homecoming does allow you to actually bounce back the Thrall, which could arguably be better. So if you want to play Homecoming instead of this, you can. But I, I felt like Will of Ionia was just ultimately very, very reliable, right? Which is why we're playing it. And more flexible in general. And, uh, you know, less disruptible. But you can make an argument for Homecoming too, if you want to. Uh, and that's essentially the deck list right there. Uh, as you guys can see, it's more stacked on the curve in, in four. It has a lot of two mana plays. But it, it is a little bit uh, lighter in the one drop department, which it used to not be the case. But it, it really feels uh, reliable like this. Like I, I, I like the, the curve and I've had uh, quite a bit of success in Masters Ranked, which is where we're going to be showcasing today's gameplay as uh, we have all sorts of matchups to explore and we can all just hold hands and enjoy a day playing this degeneracy together <laughs> hopefully you enjoy the show <laughs> and forgive me no but really they, 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 it's cool now it's cool you can you can play this deck now it's fine it's okay no 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 judging it's it's all right now now playing thralls is is the uh the lame thing to do which is just just crazy how how the tides turn but i'm gonna stop rambling thank you guys for watching stay tuned for daily legends of Ontario content hope you enjoy the games i'll see you guys tomorrow all right here we go ah, the time has come we didn't die hero this matchup is actually terrifying because they have rally effects but you never mulligan away emperor's days will of ionia can be really clutch how do I not keep this entire hand? I have both my champions. Think about it, like, I really sometimes it's not really that good of a keep. But... I feel like I have everything that I, I need to have. I just need to... be a little bit... patient with my setup. And hopefully my opponent, you know, is also patient as well. Okay, that's a great draw. That's not... That is, that's not a sign of patience at all. If I play the Emperor's Days, I don't get to play Storm's Blade. So how do we approach this? Because Storm's Blade is actually pretty weak on the next incoming turn. I think we set this up. I think we wait on you. Magicians. If they play something now, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna play some mind games on it. I've got your back. Oh, so much for mind games. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Azir can survive even after a buff from Poppy. 
We have Will of Ionia if they try to like just open attack and buff the hell out of this. Quite kill us yet. Melodies to rouse hearts and steady hands. If we lose us here, so be it. Oh no, a golden Aegis? Oh no. Oh no. What's your other prioritize? Okay, they they don't they don't respect the musician's authority. Where keep the musician's health? Alright, we lose this here. A crappy time. But we do have the Storm of Blades with the field musicians on the board. Unless they can start to strike me or they still combat me. Which they don't, so this allows us to refuel the mana. Oh, is that a double? Double may be risky, actually. Let's see what they do. Every work demands a piece of ourselves. I'm, go I'm going with a double. Maximum setup here. <laughs> They're like, oh, adorable. I don't need your pity! Need repairs? Alright, we're in. Every blade dance we go now is gonna be insane. Now we just have to, you know, survive. Surviving would be ideal. To be honest, in my opinion, just saying it would be pretty ideal. I'd love to see a poppy here so I can just defy and dance it. Yeah. Oh, uh, how about this for danger? <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, easy as a, a real level up. He's got to survive, man. These damn chimes. These these Erasmus called Erasmus fucking Erasmus man they don't even want to challenge this they don't even respect it don't like your tone steady breathing we play on Ionia says no! Cheeky you. All right, we're at six. That's pretty that's pretty reasonable. That's pretty decent. I really up. Where they fall, freedom grows. I need you to pull through, Irelia. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. They're playing okay, they're actually like main deck. Alright. Look at that, look at that investment. Look at all those blades, boy! Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. I mean, I, I wouldn't remember your ancestors because you were pretty fucked. But I'll stop you. Okay, good, good, good. Start feeding me the bodies. I need to clear this board through offense! Through offense alone! We gotta, we gotta clear. Ain't nobody. Navori, formations. Woodwinds, then strings. Step strike, left foot strike, right foot strike, turn. You gotta attack with absolutely everything. We gotta keep coming. This, this entire investment that we went through this game, where we've just been getting bullied back to back, 
We're having no more. I can clear you. Even though this drops him low. But I feel like just start just completely eliminating their board. Like I, I deal two less damage, but I'm I'm okay with that. I am perfectly okay with that. I got I gotta I gotta wipe these. I gotta get rid of all these bodies, cause I ain't got no no fast speed answer to shit. Today's the day I find that hero. Now Now we dance. Now we dance. Da -da -da. They actually should not block there because they're left at one health. But I guess they're worried about me having just another... Like like the, the, the two drop. Yeah, they have to play around the two drop. That makes sense. But we actually have lethal. <laughs> I'm so focused on clearing the board, but we actually got lethal. We're like, huzzah! Because we got that discipline. We got that discipline, boy. And we knock him out! Oh, ho, 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 I'm Darabur, I know! Oh, that was clean! That was clean! You know what? I'm gonna see Aurelia bed now. My favorite deck. Our ancestors are safe once more. And now we go against <laughs> a pretty fucked up matchup, to be honest. Alright, I don't like Green Glade Duo here because there's just a billion ways for them to kill it. Um, lead and follow is pretty decent, but I think, honestly, I'm gonna go with a full mulligan, including the field musicians, because I really want to find my my uh, five mana, the, the new card, basically. Forgot the name. What do you have for one mana? You're not playing any. Oh, you have the uh, the Raven Bloom Conservatory? Do these, do these decks play it? I mean, if they do, why would they never play it here? Maybe because they have that in Thermogenic Beam? I'm not concerned about that. We're passing. We're not gonna feed anything into nothing. We're gonna feed nothing into nothing English. Okay, that's a neat draw, but... Me? Me? Not by a long shot. Do not see what is. See what, what will be. be. I could just trade into you. The problem is a Mystic Shot does us in, so we're just gonna. Let's just hope that the uh, Flash Bomb doesn't pop off immediately. You know, that, that'd be ideal. Okay, nice. Let's get the Emperor's Days in there. There it is. Alright. Face. Twin Discipline should protect this against conventional removal. They're not gonna... Uh... Yeah. Let's see if they have something else. Double. Peacemaker Protocol. Double trouble. Well, that's a problem because we're gonna draw into a flash bomb at any moment now. Oh, Zier. I could just attack, but that's just this. This Caitlyn is a problem. <laughs> okay. Oof. Dark times come and go. We play on. All right, we're gonna go musicians here. It's a nice thick body that can sponge some of those. Uh-oh, 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 a thing, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. A, thing. a thing, not a thing, not the thing, not the thing! More things. Oh boy, well. Double up. Why not? Just one. Tea and cookies to go with your dossier, Sheriff? Blackleaf Brew Inspector. And they're biscuits. Oh. 
That's fine. That's fine. I'd like to um to make use of my mana here by preemptively protecting her from these incoming flash bombs, which are very numerous. So we do this. I want to get rid of you really bad. I'm like really done with your shit. Really, really done with your bullshit. Ravenous Lock, okay. The order is given! What's the motive? Oh, we got a hit off on him. Kind of unfortunate that we just ran out of gas. Hang on, Zern. No, 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 no. Man, having that extra draw. Whoa! What the fuck? You took all that? like this and I gotta hope for a, a top deck like the five drop the five drop would be perfect come on baby come on baby mm. I cry every time that that Caitlyn that Caitlyn just put in the massive work we really did not have anything for her yeah, we just gotta cry. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta Caitlyn. And call it a day. So sad. Those flash bombs, man. Interesting. I think this is trying to masquerade as aggro, but it's actually like the, the control deck with Go Hard. So I'm gonna mulligan away. Honestly, honestly, including Irelia. Because I don't attack on three. And like I said, it really is not as important as Azir early on. Like, she's she's obviously important later, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think we may just pass this first couple of turns. Oh, no. Or play you. Because I don't want to play this into a go hard. Or, like, the billion pings that they run, right? We're going to take it easy. We're going to take it chill. Ooh. I wonder if they have a removal for this. Sharima, your emperor has returned. It has to be a combination. Okay, so that and Ravenous Flock. Or not. I'd like to play Field Musicians before I... They could have a... If they had a Disintegrate, they would have played it, right? Greater things await! I think for now I can do that. I can play field music. I, I gotta play the long game here. Your they don't even block into this. They do have the flock. I could protect there, but my ears are good. As, like I'm, I'm gonna let him go down. Once, once he's damaged in a, in a matchup like this, it's, it's a matter of time. There's the catalog. 
And a one, two, three. Wonder if they have to go hard there. Two, alright. Now's when we go for the storm of blades though. With the Emperor's Days, we're able to draw a card off of the, the musicians, get the value here. They want to play their go hard, so... So there it is. Hang on, here are you. Okay, so they're resolving that. We're gonna do this. I could just play you, which would spawn three and four. Then, but then they go. They they have to play pack your bags here. Like they definitely want to play that. So we're gonna mess around with them a little bit. They lose the pack your bags. We're in the driver's seat here. Right, not just one, like two of them. Like, keep that in mind, because they could have packed your bags and then used the other go hard. Like that's two. We we just. We halted their chain. This board is menacing on its own, is the thing. I can just develop you. Like, just, just this one drop, just this one mana play sets up a, a huge menace. Blossom Blade now, anyways. If they wipe me, they wipe me. When rhythm takes hold, there is no time for fear. Because this puts him out of range. Like the the Spartan student doesn't die. It's a withering whale and a nightfall card and something else. You don't have to go hard either. out of range from pack your bags again Two nightfall cards in hand, generated by that. So that's that should have been both of them. So they generated two of those. Two nightfall cards and two other cards that we don't know of. Potentially a pack your bags there. We were born in the first land, and we will defend them until the end. This I really summon puts the uh, Spartan the student the out of range. And you were mine. So much pressure, baby. No more threat, ladies and gentlemen. Let's attack first. Get this sparring student thick. As we start dealing some damage, baby. I could even swap these two. I don't see a reason not. Nah. 
No, let's hold on to you, actually. I got, I got some spice. I got some spice in the making, baby. <laughs> ah, you're tapped out. You're tapped out. And now it's time for you to go in. And with me, Shurima, motherfucker! Oh, we're going in. I just make sure I'm recording. <laughs> Dude, when nobody's played this, it's actually really fun. <laughs> when it's not like toxic and just depressing everything. Oh, this, this archetype is neat. I've come full circle. Nobody be beats me. At hypocrisy! A true leader does not hesitate. Mm, they're not true, though, Azir. Now, with double blade surge, this sparring student represents lethal. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. This one drop. Flight this three. one drop. That extra blade. <laughs> it's an entire board, dude. <laughs> I've been wanting this matchup. Okay, we got the Stormlands in the field musicians. Good stuff. I'm gonna gonna weigh these two. But if you have to storm blades, you generally wanna keep, especially in a matchup that's slower like this. We wanna play for value. Even Inspiring Marshall, which is a one-off, is a good draw here as well. Obviously, like they could just turbo on us, right? But I'm gonna lead off with uh, Irelia instead of developing the Storm Blades here. Oh, what is this? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Alright, Irelia. Let's soften them up a little bit. I like that this card kind of like demands you to play field musicians because otherwise the, the tempo pricing is just too high. Too damn high! But with, with field musicians, it actually makes sense. A tune of courage for our companions. It's interesting because this card did not see play in the original version of Azir really because it was so busted, it, it didn't need that kind of synergy. All right, let's go for it. Oh, double? Well, maybe we could just attack first. Coming. If only you were made of rock. Shoulder set, blade sharpened, plant that lead foot. Don't worry, I've danced this a hundred times. Yeah, I can hold on to my mana for now. Keep this body on the board and then resort to that later. So that I can will of Ionia one of these. You're all tied up. I, I blocked there, first of all, to weaken this, and second of all, to in case they have a, a right of negation, so that I, I don't die to a Blighted Ravine. And now we get three blades, which means we, we trigger that immediately. 
We're able to cycle through our deck. We'll set up the late game. Oh shit. Okay. More than mortals, I am iceborne. Well, that's a problem. Ages pass. That is a massive problem. Warm hearts and hot soup. Well, we need you, that's for sure. Ready, willing, and lucky. All right, all right. Stay positivo has to be a dickhead. He's gonna go for this now? What? I mean, we lose this thing, but is that really a problem? Is it, strike, left foot just, strike, right foot strike, turn. Stinging if we jump the gun with that, I think. I could have I could have let him follow that actually. If I thought that through. Shurima, your emperor has returned. So, a war march. I have risen and we Let's go with this. The order is given. Arise! Your Emperor commands! about your dad. Foolish child. Stand back. Kill. They go for a three sisters here. They deal damage to that. Why are they going for this now?
Man, the, the nerf to Claw's duet really hurts here. I could try to kill Lysandra. Uh, if I do that... I force something out of them here. I'm gonna try. Oh! Okay. Okay. We get the flawless duet though. I repeat, we get the flawless duet. How much how much mana do we need here? Two. Oh, but this is so expensive, bro. Okay, that's three, seven, nine. I mean we, we got we gotta go with this. If they have another Lysandra, we're fucked though. If they have another Lysandra, what's the option here? Because Lysandra just halts us, so let's let's lead off with you. The Yordle here is with me. Okay, so if they do have Lysandra, this, this, and this. Let's go with you. I dance not to forget, but to remember. Getting desperate. We don't need that extra body. If I go for this, they have they have to what could they have here? They have to have something. Step strike, left foot strike, right foot strike, turn. Let's go for lethal here. Let's see what they got. There's a quicksand. Just one card left. Avalanche. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him, baby. Let's go. Oh, with the emos, let's go! Ho ho ho! Oh! Our home, our ancestors are safe once more. Oh my god! Alright. Just a, a few, before I end the video, like a few reflect. That was a long ass game. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Before, like, I, I want to talk about, like, just a couple of things. Like, first of all, earlier in the, in the match, like, I'll. There's a lot to think about. I'm not an Azir really expert, so I, I definitely don't think I, I play like absolutely perfectly by any means. But uh, yeah, there was definitely a misplay, I think, when they went... They kept going for the Ice Shard very prematurely, I believe. But when, when they went for the Ice Shard, uh, on, uh, and I had the Sparring Student, I think I should have recalled the Sparring Student. Because the sparring student with a leveled up Irelia can represent some nasty just combos that can bypass Lysandra's uh, tough nexus, right? So I, I think letting my sparring student go was a big mistake. So in case you guys are like are, are like typing that in the comments, like I I, I am aware, and I'm pretty sure there's a, a, other things that I could have done differently just to navigate around that. But I, I think I didn't play uh, too bad. And, and that was just that satisfying as hell, man. Like, this this archetype is... I mean, now that you gotta work for it, now that you gotta play for the synergies, man, it's it's very rewarding, you know? <laughs> like, like th before, I, I think if the deck doesn't need field musicians, it, it's toxic, right? But if it does, then you, got, you gotta do a lot of, to set up, and I feel like it's it's really nice as a combo deck if it's not over-tuned. Like, I just... The problem with Azira, really, like, it got a, it's so much bad rep because it was just so unbelievably pushed by the devs with the Shurima expansion that it just, like, beat everything, so... Except for, like, full-on aggro. Uh, and that's definitely not okay. Without, like, much effort, either. Like, it was, it was insane back in the day. 
But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of like going on a tangent now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Kind of like doing my outro for my deck tech. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Bye!